Hi, I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies. This is the Tebow Storm. Now, a few months ago, one of the archers came into my store with one of these risers that he brought on the internet. He goes, what do you think? And I was like, I don't know. I'm, I was a bit confused why he brought it, because I was like, this looks like a knuckle duster. Like, why do you want this? Like, is it just like an Avengers thing that you want to be cool? Like, why did you buy this riser? It made no sense to me. Anyways, Tebow make a lot of risers. When I say a lot, a lot of good quality risers. And when I say good quality risers, <laughs> I mean risers that are really well priced, that are amazing. And this is one of their latest offerings. They have a new one coming out, which is a formula riser, which we'll show you when it comes out. Um, but I looked at this and I was like, why would you want this? Um, so we've set it up now. It's got a wood grip. The grip is quite wide here. So it's, I was like, why would you want this versus the normal Tebow, which is like amazing. Um, the grip feels nice and comfortable. It's a bit, it sticks out further on this side than this side. So it's a kind of a unique grip. Um, weights here. Now, one of my friends, Rick McKinney, um, you know, champion archer when they first designed this bow here with a brace Hoyt had a brace at the back and I asked him well, what was the difference between a brace at the back and a brace at the front now the idea of a brace is to strengthen the riser to get less twisting and he said the brace at the back is not as good as the brace at the front the brace at the front is what you want um, now there's lots of reasons why you want the brace at the front um, one of the problems of braces at the back is it makes it hard to fit arrows and it causes a few other problems and you know like the skin in the way of your arm and stuff but so win and win had a brace at the front called the Inno. Um, I think it's called the Inno. Um, we'll have some pictures of it on the screen. Uh, it wasn't particularly popular. Um, so when I saw this I was like well I'm not sure who would want this. A bear bow archer, um, a hunter and why would you be interested in this? Now it's international fitting limbs, so we've just fitted the Win and Win Explorer limbs. These are cheap limbs, about $130 limbs to it. Um, it's a cast riser. Um, the wood, the right, the grip feels great. Um, we're going to take a shot. Now I've got no dampeners on it, no nothing. Um, so you can fit any any limb to it you want. Um, I'm going to guess it's a 19-inch riser. You can change the left and right on the limbs. Um, we're going to shoot this like so semi bare bow. I could draw this bow yesterday, today. It's like, oh, it kills me. Um, so, one of my staff shot this and he shot an indoor round with it and shot, I'm going to guess, bare bow 260, first off the bat with these limbs, which is a very good score for bare bow recurve. I could draw this back yesterday. No vibration. It's um, the grip feels really good. I can't like I could draw this back today. I can't. Okay, really like the grip. Um, the bow feels quiet. There's no silences on it. Um, feels really good so how does it compare to like Tebow and other bows that you'd use for sort of hunting you've got the ability to fit a sight on here you've got two berger holes um, look it may feel better it may be, feel better than your Hoyt Satori um, sells for about $300 that's for the riser then you're going to add some limbs whichever little type of limb you're going to add um, look wood Wood limbs are going to be affected by, you know, temperature and all that sort of stuff. I'd go for a foam limb if I had a choice. Although, if you're building yourself up, you know, wood's cheap and you lose sort of less money. But absolutely beautiful bow to shoot. Um, I totally rate it against any bow I've shot. It's just dead in the hand. The grip's perfect. And yeah, look, I'm struggling to draw it back. I don't know what pen it is. But um, 
it's it's very good. How many times can I say something's very good? And saying it's one of the best bows I've shot, and I've shot, you know, the Samex, um, hunting bows, all of them. The Black Wolf, um, you know, which is a carbon riser. This is very... Now you can hear some little creaks. I think it's the Flemish twist string coming off the grooves here. Um, very good. So the Tebow Storm Riser. If you're looking for a hunting, a hunting recurve to shoot bear bow with, this is awesome. The little weights can screw on and screw off. Um, you've got the stabilizer hole. Um, you can wind the limbs in and out, but just make sure you don't strip out the riser when you do so, because that's not a warranty claim. I assume this is for a quiver of somehow. Um, that's just me guessing. But the storm, amazing. Like, really. There's so many international fitting hunting recurves on the market today. Um, and Tebow, like, they've produced such good quality in the target. And like I said, they've got a formula riser coming out in the next couple of months. Um, with formula limbs amazing at a price point so cheap anyway I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies thanks for watching bye